Hi, I'm Sherazad, and I've got Brinda, Yamuna, and Anushka back behind the scenes with me. And I'm just going to ask them a few interesting questions. So I'll start with you, Brinda. Sure. What are you most grateful for? Um, I think the ability to finally travel. I think all of us can relate. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where would you go if you, if you um, could? I think, well, it was on my bucket list before um, COVID happened it's to go to Patagonia and see the glaciers. So, yeah, we booked the tickets and all of that. But, um, yeah, hoping to go again soon. I'll, I'll move over to you, Anishka. How do you usually start your day? I start by giving my dog a really big kiss and make myself a huge mug of coffee. Oh, wow. And then eventually my, when my wife wakes up, yeah, a cup of coffee for her too. But number one priority, puppy kiss and big cup of coffee. Renaissance bad at making the, the wife the cup of coffee. Yeah. What's, what's your dog's name? Rhino. Oh, okay. He's a oh, Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Oh, yeah. beautiful, lovely. Um, and Yamuna, what are your hobbies? Um, I'm an avid painter. I do portraits, actually. Uh, very amateur still, but it's a work in progress. I also sing, uh, despite uh, protests from my kids. So, <laughs> what, what do you sing that makes them protest so much? Everything <laughs> that I sing, anything and everything makes them protest, unless it's a Disney song, of course. Yeah. Um, so we all sing. <laughs> but the painting, how did you come to that? Uh, I've, I've always, um, I've always painted since I was a kid. So it's, it's, um, it's my escape from uh, reality at times. Okay. So it's my go-to peace place. Um, Brenda, um, you know, what? What are your favorite quotes? And, and um, you know, what words would you live by? Um, I think something that's really held true to me um, and my husband is anything is possible because I think we've really seen this um, in our journey and I think that's something that we kind of need to remind ourselves of every day um, in everything we do. Yamuna, let's find a toughie for you. Um, right. What is your guilty pleasure? There are many, but um, of course I'm passionate about chocolate. Um, yeah, but of course, there's, there's, there's many more. Uh, one must have uh, guilty pleasures to escape to. So <laughs> I, I will leave it This is that. off camera. We'll have a chat off camera. <laughs> um, bring the back to you. Um, if you could tell me one word that describes you. I think uh, introvert. I think that's something that I'm working on. But um, yeah, that's probably... That what describes me, yeah. So what it, what is most important and what are, what is the key to happiness in your life? Freedom of choice. And, and, and why is that particularly important? <laughs> as a mother and as a woman, um, you have a lot of responsibilities. Um, I think it's very, very important to be empowered enough uh, financially, uh, career-wise, uh, even in your personal life, to be able to choose what is best for you and what is best for your loved ones. Mm. So freedom of choice uh, equals happiness to me uh, because without choice, you're stuck. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not a fun place to be in. So, uh, so to me, um, uh, Freedom and the power of choice is supremely important. Um, what do you think the key is to, to living a good life? Time. I think being able to spend uh, your time the way you want. Um, I think it's, uh, in, from, for many people, it's, it's a luxury. I don't think any of us could say that we have, have that necessarily. But I think um, time is finite and if you want to spend as much part of it living a good life. I think time is one. Well, what is the key to a good life? Key to a good life, I think, um, probably balance. I think it's something that I've really struggled with, mm. um, juggling so many things because um, when I was a running hatch, I actually had a full-time job as a legal consultant mm. in the UK. So I would work hatch in the morning um, and then do that until two, three in the morning two, three in the morning. So again, massively um, lacking that balance. Mm. And um, it meant that, you know, I, I had health complications and all of that. And just, you know, just trying to have balance and that sense of peace. When I go home, I can switch things off yeah. um, and, you know, just watch Netflix if I want to. <laughs> so, yeah. 